What are you three babies doing, hey? Hey? What are you doing, hey? You got something on your lip. Good morning. We have literally woken up and then taken ourselves through our little morning routine, which is just having warm lemon water, sometimes with apple cider vinegar, Emma religiously has it. And then I have um, a before you speak coffee and get in my face with foam, do a little bit of work, and then we're gonna head to the gym and film a workout for you guys. So this is actually our office. So many people ask for more. It's a little bit messy, sorry. It's because these three. We get asked a lot to do more day in the lifestyle vlogs. So we're gonna make more of an effort to show you more of our lifestyle uh, as well as our workouts. So yeah, we're just gonna finish our coffees. We're gonna head to the gym. Tonight we are going to have a cheat meal. So we'll talk a little bit more about cheat meals and our take on them. The literally crazy dog people. I have a sausage dog, Emma has a sausage dog, and my brother Liam has a sausage dog. And I literally even have a mug with her, with my sausage dog on there, Nelly. Honestly, one of my clients got this for me and it is my favorite present I've ever had. So, just finished my Before You Speak coffee. I have it religiously every single morning. It tastes so good, you can never go back to normal coffee. And I don't even have milk or sugar. It's naturally um, a little bit sweeter, but it has so many health benefits. Um, I'm gonna link them here you need to try this. They're also bringing out a uh, cinnamon style before you speak coffee, which I think will be delicious. So I'll keep you updated on that also. So I thought I'd take you through my vitamins this morning. I'm gonna have a vitamin B complex. This also has MCTs in it, which is really good for focus. I'm having a raw um, probiotic, a women's probiotic, sorry, which is really, really good for gut health. This one's a really good quality one too. I got all of these off iHerb if everyone's, anyone's wondering. And then I got a vitamin um, D, which I'm gonna have. I've got a fish oil, which I'm gonna have, and also a vitamin C, which I'm gonna have. This is a really potent vitamin C. This brand, as I said, is a really good brand and um, all off iHerb. So I'm gonna take those. And at the moment, I'm just trialing this gut performance. So it's basically used to reduce bloating. Um, it's got active probiotics in it and prebiotics, promotes weight loss, but also improves intestinal absorption. So when you eat, you're actually absorbing the nutrients from that food. Um, I've, this is my third day, so I can't give too much of a review on it at the moment, but I can definitely say it hasn't made me feel any worse. How's it to drink? It's actually not that bad. It's pretty tasteless. Mm. It's got a bicarbonate in it, a bicarbonate soda, which is, I do know for a fact, amazing for alkalization. Mm -hmm. um, but it sort of tastes like nothing. Mm. It's not too bad. My goals this year was to focus a lot more on the health aspect of fitness. Um, so for me, taking daily vitamins, also staying away from any you know, artificial supplements and just doing my best to take a more natural approach. Uh, reason being is just because, as I said, I wanna be a little bit more health focused and to focus more on gut health, alkalining my body, etc. And you're sort of- I've like always that. been very gut health oriented. She's always been a lot better than me. And I don't like artificials. I, I'm very, very health conscious. So yeah, I love that she's doing this now. Okay, so before we head to the gym, I wanna to touch on two questions that we get asked so much. And the first one is, I'm getting sick, so I'm starting to feel quite run down. We had one of our employees, <laughs> Sophia, was yeah. sick and has brought it into the office and now we're all going down like flies. And the question is, I woke up this morning feeling pretty sick, quite sore in my throat, headache. Should I train? Honestly, I feel like there's no right or wrong answer to this. Mm, I feel okay. like you have to... I know everyone says this a lot, but listen to your body. If you're on your deathbed, I definitely don't recommend training. But if you feel up to it, and I know I'm someone who really enjoys my training session. With getting it's like, a sweat and stuff as well. Yes, like. sweating it out. I definitely would say train, but mm. that's not probably always the right advice to give. Yeah, no, I I honestly agree. And I think you know, I said, yeah. I think deep down you know whether if you're overly sick, like I've been overly sick before and you cannot train, don't you force don't. yourself to the gym. 
if you still feel pretty good, uh, like for me, for example, yeah, I feel a little bit run down, but I still feel fine. I do think, yeah, it's Remember fine to train. Remember last year how I got really, really sick for that week? Oh, yeah, and Emma didn't train at all. I didn't train at all. Like, I did not. I was so mm. God-forsakingly sick. Mm. But I knew, like, 100% that I couldn't train. That's probably mm. the worst I've been in years and the yeah. only time I haven't trained when I was really sick. So our advice is listen to your body. Obviously, if your doctor's telling you not to train, don't, don't train. train. Uh, but yeah, listen to your body uh, when it comes to and don't feel guilty because if yeah. you have a rest, like, and a lot of people, the other question we get is, do we drop, like, do you drop your macros yeah. if you're really, really sick? Mm. And again, like, your body needs fuel to recover. Yeah. By all means, don't force yourself to eat your food yeah. if you're full. You lose but, your appetite a bit sometimes. Yeah, when you're sick. don't also don't starve yourself. Yeah. Like, if you're hungry, hit your macros. Yeah, and not going to the gym for a couple of days is not going to ruin all of no. your results. So don't stress out. Um, as we said, just listen to your body. Second thing cheat meals we're having a cheat meal tonight what, 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 what? delish it's a very controversial topic you know should people have cheat meals should they track them should they be diet breaks there's so many little avenues to this like topic cheat meals. and we'll actually do a whole youtube on this um one day but i just wanted to touch on we're having a cheat meal do we have cheat meals what we think of them and mm. you know you can explain you and i'll explain me honestly i I've only just said this in a post I did today. I, on the macros that I'm on at the moment, can genuinely say I don't crave cheat meals as much as I used mm. to. In saying that, if I want a cheat meal, like it's not like I'm prepping for a show or anything, mm. I definitely have it. Yeah. But yeah, you're I'm, pretty good. Like mm. I love the fact that I'm not like hanging out for a Saturday to yeah. like feed my face. Yeah. Um, even tonight, like it'll be a meal out that like definitely is off the macros, but it's yeah. not going to be this like gorging thing. Yeah. And I have come to appreciate that so much. I feel pretty pretty the same. I'm a little bit more stricter than Emma in the in the week because mm. I like to have one to two either cheat meals or untracked days now that you know I'm not comp prepping. Mm. And so I I do sometimes feel like a meal, um, but my the control over my hunger is so much better since yeah. I've done intermittent fasting. Honestly, I swear by intermittent fasting. It's not for everyone. Again, it's a controversial topic, but the benefits I've seen and felt doing intermittent fasting so is next level. I've been only on a year now doing intermittent fasting, and it's the yeah. best thing I have ever done. Yeah. I feel so much more less bloated. I feel tighter around my stomach. I feel um, better focused. I feel so in control of my hunger levels yeah. i used to be a person where i would like get to a stage and just fiend for like so much so many naughty foods whereas now i don't really have that i really so have such a good balance but like rachel was saying i also think that if you are someone who knows that you like to have a cheat meal every week mm. it is probably worth um you know like rage does is just ever so slightly manipulate your macros during the week so that when you do have your cheat meal on the weekend it's going to sort of counteract yes um yes you know. So I know that when I have a cheat meal, it's really a lot higher in fats and yeah. carbs. So during the week, I pull them down just a little bit yeah. because I know I'm going to spill over and then overall my macros are Average probably going to be like maintenance. They're not even going to be in a surplus. Yeah. So it's just, yeah. Don't pick your battle. Yeah. And I like to go out. I like to be social. I like to have meals. My partner loves eating. So do I. So I do like to have the option there if um, I want. And I'm not sacrificing that much. My macros are still quite good during yeah. the week. Um, so yeah, it's just finding that balance but we are all for having a cheat meal as long as it aligns with your goals so we always say to our clients if you want to have a cheat meal that's fine but you need to understand that if you're being flexible with your diet and you're enjoying what you're eating you shouldn't have the urge to cheat the huge so, crazy yeah it's more just like a for me a mental break yeah. and, and um it's, it's social. enjoyment like yeah you, it, a cheat meal should be something you enjoy. Yeah. It shouldn't be something where you walk away going, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that. I hate myself. I hate yeah. myself. I hate myself. you got to live a little. So that's our <laughs> advice on cheat meals. As we said, if you're happy with where you are, definitely start incorporating them and make sure you're having something delicious. We're going for Mexican. So I think I'm, it'll be good. I'm Mexican. Obsessed. I'm happy. <laughs> so anyway, that's our little chat on if you're sick, should you train and cheat meals. Cheat meals. Let's go to the gym and... This. We're going to be training booty, of course, With and we're going to be incorporating our booty bands, which is part of our merch series. So, hope you enjoy. So, today we're going to be using our body virtual booty bands, they come in a pack of four, and we have light, medium, heavy heavy so we're going to do some glute activation to get into our glute workout so we 
we are at the gym and we are about to hit our booty band workout, so episode three of our merch series. And we're going to start with glute activation. Now, the workout we have planned today is literally epic. If you're looking for a serious glute workout, this one's gonna get you. And it's strictly glutes, minimal legs. Yes. Which a lot of girls are always after. Emma and I are very quad dominant, so we are all about growing the booty and um, keeping Reducing the quads legs. nice and slim. Uh, but what we love about this workout is a lot of people think that only way they can progress is by upping their weights and it's very wrong the best way in my opinion or one of the best ways weights is obviously a good way but my favorite way to progress is using resistance yep. via a band mm. that's why we do so much band work um, honestly since including so much band work in my training I've noticed more shapely glutes and less legs which is it's amazing and honestly I've noticed phenomenal changes I've always been able to shape my legs but I have never been able to shape my glutes and this year mm. I've noticed such changes so it's crazy so this morning we're gonna start with some glute activation so it's really important to wake the glutes up as you'll see in lots of our YouTubes we really talk about how important this is um, but for now we're gonna take you through our activation workout Activation is all done. Finished. Now today we want to do something a little bit different. So yeah, this is actually so the way we've structured this is so different to our normal workout. Only three exercises. They, but are, they are all drop sets. All drop sets, which means starting heavier, and um, as we go on, the weight is going to get less. So we started. Wow. So the three uh, exercises we're doing today is um, GHD extensions, Smith machine thrusts, and then glute bridge frog pumps. <laughs> Are you guys ready? I'm not. I'm definitely not. Let's I'm sweating from the from the activations. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, girls. This is super super hard. We have two bands above our knees, so we've doubled up on our bands, and then we're drop setting with the weight. So Rach is holding a 10 kilo for her first lot of reps, then she's dropping to the five on the floor, then she's going to go to body weight. Oh, honestly. This is so painful. I actually was like, I don't think I can do this. I'm gonna to have to film you because I can't actually do this drop set.
Honestly, I wish I got more on camera, but our camera was dying. I get so angry. Emma was like, I can't do it. I'm like, you do it. Like yelling at each other. We're such freaks. People in this gym, I was just like, oh my God, these girls. We have the camera out. We're twinning. We're literally wearing the same thing. Don't worry, this was it. on purpose. We love it. <laughs> we love it. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed um, episode three of our merch series. Honestly, I feel like this is really going, and this is something you could do with any sort of exercises. Mm. So if you're looking to grow your shoulders, choose three shoulder exercises. Mm. If you're looking to grow your glutes, glute exercises. It's a um, workout structure you can apply to absolutely any area of the body. Well, these booty bands are available. I'll put our merch link in the bio, but that is all from us today. Have an amazing weekend. We'll see you all in our next vlog. Mwah.